How is this possible? If I perfectly land <laughs> right on these donuts, I will bounce back up onto the chair. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. It crosses the river without getting wet. Uh -huh. How did the dog do this? <laughs> Try and expand your brain. <laughs> You must figure it out in five minutes or the note will self-destruct. Uh, <laughs> <it's my phone. laughs> What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Lanky Bar. Yeah. Today we are seeing if Justin can solve some impossible riddles. Justin will now be showing several different riddles. If he can guess the answer to most of them correctly, he gets to play a special game with prizes at the end. Let's go. Okay, let's see how many of these Justin can get right. Guys, we are picking the winner of the iPhone giveaway wow. tomorrow. So make sure you are subscribed. That's literally all you have to do to enter. Just be subscribed with notifications. So click that subscribe button. And let's see how many riddles you and Justin can get right. And let's get into the first riddle right now, which is this river dog riddle. Huh? Okay, a man stands on one side of a deep river, his dog on the other. The man calls his dog. He says, come here, boy. It, it cross crosses the river without getting wet. Huh? And without using a bridge or a boat. Okay, so he just teleported across. <laughs> how did the dog do this? Okay, so... You are on one side of a river, your dog is on the other, yeah. you call it and it comes to you without getting wet. How is that possible? Okay, so Chimmy and I will now figure this out. I'm gonna use this to simulate the river okay, in the middle. Okay, How Chimmy. do you get Chimmy to come to you without getting wet? Okay. You call the dog's name. Uh-huh. Chimmy! And then I'm gonna call my underwater dog's name. <laughs> Dick Shark! Oh, yeah! And then Chimmy is gonna hop on the back of the Thick Shark. Yeah! Hey, Thick Shark says, stop! <laughs> and he's gonna swim him over. Got him. And he's not no, wet. Wait. The shark would come from under the water and would have water on it. Therefore, no. when Chimmy rides him, he'd get wet. No. No. Big shark doesn't get wet. He only gets sick. <laughs> okay, but in the riddle, there is no thick shark. What if the guy gets in the river? What if he's splashing? I'm uh -huh. underwater. And then he picks up his doggy and swims him back across. In this riddle, the man does not get in the water. That's a hint. I'm coming in <laughs> with a straw. <laughs> and if this is the water level, I'm taking my straw. You're going to drink the entire river? You think it's, yeah. <laughs> it's gone. And then Jimmy can cross the dry riverbed to me. Yeah. You think you can drink an entire river? Oh, most definitely. I have done it before. I actually got it. No way. It never said how big the river is. What if the dog can jump over the river? In the riddle, it looks pretty big. This makes absolutely no sense. Maybe it gets wet. Maybe Chimmy goes for a swim. And he gets over and he does that thing that dogs do. <laughs> the shake. Yeah, and now he's not wet anymore. Chimmy says, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Stop. Try and expand your brain. I don't know how that's him, but I'll do it. <laughs> Is your brain getting bigger? <laughs> Yeah! So did all that help you solve the riddle? No, it did not. Okay, I will give one final hint. Notice how the water is not moving. Oh, the river's frozen? Yeah! You a troll! Dude! What you mean? Okay, that is the Are answer. You a troll? The river was frozen, so he was able to just skate across without getting wet. <laughs> no, his paws would still get wet. No! Yes, it would. You want, you want me to go get a block of ice and rub it on you? You get wet. No, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, you I'm not get it. wet. I'm prove it. I got some ice. Touch it. Now wow, my fingers, fingers dry. Jimmy says, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's out. Oh, no, yeah. that's it! Oh, yeah. That's it! It's yeah. cold. Yeah. Okay, you guys let us know if you think the answer to this was fair. Justin got that one right. Let us know if you guys got that one right. Guys, I actually have an extra secret riddle just for Justin and you guys that I'm going to put at the end of the video. So make sure to watch this full video. But for now, we're going to go to the next riddle right now, which is this spy code riddle. Oh. <laughs> now, do you think you 
even crack this code? A hundred percent. Okay, here we go. Your spy partner gives you a secret code. No, the answer's thick. Done. I'm done. No. That's the only that's code. That's wrong. Yeah, what? That's not it. Okay, we're moving on. Put the A. <laughs> no, no, no. You gotta uh, try. It's top secret and contains info on a spy attack. Okay. You must figure it out in five minutes or the note will self-destruct. Uh, Can you figure out the code? So I'm gonna start okay. a timer. No. Starting and you have Wait, five what? minutes to crack this code. Stop. This is gonna self-destruct yes. in five minutes? Okay, so I have recreated the riddle on this piece yeah, of paper. And I have recreated the Justice Spy Agency. So actually, <laughs> this is gonna help you solve the riddle. We are sending in the defusing department. <laughs> okay, defuse it. Beep, 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 boop. So is it the red wire? <laughs> Cookie, defuse it, defuse it. Yeah, we're running out of time. Is it working? Yeah. The special defuser expert Kooky is gonna destroy the note. No, Justin! <laughs> Justin, that's my phone! Did the timer stop? No. <laughs> you have four minutes left. You just wasted a minute. Now, see if you can figure out this code. The spies are depending okay, on okay, you. Okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Now, so, what do you okay. think it might be? I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna connect this, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna connect it like that. Wait, is Justin about to crack I'm it? connect this. No way. I'm gonna draw some circles in here. Oh. Oh, and no now way. I got a half dozen donuts. <laughs> Cookie's gonna come in here and decorate. Cookie's gonna put in some sprinkles. You think the code is to make a nice picture of donuts? The code is donuts. Huh? You are not even close. <laughs> okay, well, okay, I'm gonna come in with a new piece of paper. Try anything else. Clap. What are you doing with my phone? <laughs> We're gonna put it in some ice. Why? Some ice. How is this gonna help you solve the riddle? I'm defusing the note. Justin, no. I've given up on the riddle. My only choice now is to defuse this in two minutes. No, Justin, you have to try and solve this. Okay, let us know if you guys can figure this out. You have two minutes left. Go, go, go. Maybe it has to do with turning it upside down. Oh, I actually got it. So if you actually fold it this way. Wait, it says juicy. <laughs> No, it's not saying that you're juicy. You are so close. Think, let me think. If you cut it in half, you get July 10th. That's it! What? You solved it! Let's go! That's the date of the spy attack! Okay, so it's not juicy, Justy. Yo, if you cut it in half, it says July 10th. Let's go! Dude, you're so oh, smart. Oh, oh. Okay, Justin got that one right, and we can run the next riddle right now, which is this dessert cutting riddle. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, this is going to test your logical brain. How can you cut a round cake into eight equal slices using only three cuts? <laughs> Now, instead of a cake, because I think this might take you a while, I'm gonna have donuts. What you mean I think this will take you a while? Uh, if you're able to solve it fast, I'll be impressed, but it's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend this donut is the cake. You need to divide this into eight equal parts using three cuts. Justin, stop. Okay, okay. see if you guys can solve this in your head before Justin this does. This is too easy. I have a cake like this. Uh-huh. Right? That's a cake. It's a cylinder. Right? I'm gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm gonna draw a right triangle right here, and then using the law of cosines, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, and then something else I forgot. And if I do this with the radius, okay, okay, three quarters, yeah, I got a right, oh, I found a right triangle on this donut. There's actually a pyramid, also known as a pyramid. If you whittle it away, you actually have a perfect sphere. And I have actually figured it out. I need to cut it into eight pieces using three slices, right? Most people who don't have advanced geometric <laughs> They'll do three cuts like this. One, two, three. But that gives you six, not eight. You do one cut like this. Right? That's equal halves. Uh-huh. You do one cut like this. And you have uh -huh. equal quarters. And then you do the bisectional line. No way. And you have eight. That's it. I'm a 
Genius! Dude, okay, you cut like that, you cut like that, and you cut like that to get eight slices. Give somebody, somebody get my wart. Get and we have all these donuts that we can now share. Okay, Justin got that donut riddle right, and we're gonna find the next riddle right now, which is this impossible riddle. What? Now, okay, only genius people can solve this next riddle. Okay. You ready? Yeah. It can be half without getting thinner. Huh? It can shine without fire. What? It disappears, but never for long. It's sometimes full, but never overflows. What is this? What am I? Okay, huh? so those are your four clues. Okay. You have to figure out what this is. Okay, it can be half without getting thinner. That's me, because I never get thinner. <laughs> <laughs> now, it can get half without getting thinner. It can shine without fire. Okay. What does that mean? It, it disappe disappears, but never for long. I got it. No it's way. Sometimes full never. I got it. No way. I was actually confused because I was thinking all of this made it sound like it was a liquid. I actually got it. I thought it was a liquid. Because like you're like, oh, okay, this soup got thinner. It can shine. I was like, liquid shines. Okay, it disappears. And, and the last thing about overflowing, I was like, it's a liquid. Uh-huh. It's not. What is it? It's the moon. Yeah. Why is it the moon? Because the moon can be half without getting thinner because it's just what you see. Right. It can shine without fire. The moon shines, I guess, I, kind of. It disappears. Sometimes you you don't see the moon but during the day, but it comes back. And it's a full moon sometimes, but it's now overflowing. Justin. Let's go. You got that one right. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let us know if you guys were able to solve that. And let's get into the next riddle right now, which is this donut fall riddle. What? All you have to tell me <laughs> is... How is this possible? Okay. So we have you falling from a giant skyscraper with donuts. <laughs> then immediately after, you are happily on the ground eating donuts. Can you figure this out? Are you, <laughs> are you trolling? Maybe the donuts have something to do with it. I'm going to completely ignore the fact <laughs> there's a little Superman <laughs> in the back. And I'm actually going to cosplay as myself. Okay, oh. I am now cosplaying myself. <laughs> Myself in this riddle <laughs> and I will ignore the Superman who saves me and I will demonstrate <laughs> the buoyancy effect of donuts. Okay. okay, so I have some nice donuts here. Okay, you're falling from a giant skyscraper. I am now going to jump and show you how if I perfectly land <laughs> right on these donuts, I will bounce back up onto the chair. Here we <laughs> Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. Justin! Wait, you didn't bounce back up! Justin? <laughs> Are you okay? I'm back. It worked. <laughs> and I got my donuts. You didn't really bounce. Okay, it's, it's <laughs> Superman. Because it wasn't the donuts. <laughs> Justin thinks. The answer of how this is possible is that he was saved by Superman who was in the corner of the riddle. That's yes. correct! Yeah! Dude, yeah. Justin got that one right, which means he got every single riddle right. He gets to spin the wheel. Let's see what his prize is. Comment below some prizes you want us to have next. Wait, now, now first I, you gotta put your riddle on. That is correct. I'm gonna put my super secret riddle up on the screen right now. Comment below if you can get it right. Justin, go ahead and spin. Yeah! Square plus B square, and then something else I forgot. It turns this stop laughing. <laughs> Okay. okay, nice. Okay, if Justin wins, he gets to pour ice water on Adam and Boxy. What? Dude, that's perfect. We have the ice from earlier. <laughs> Jimmy's gonna come in. Jimmy says, Boxy, you are innocent. You will be spared. Adam, on the other hand. Wait. Yeah, you made this little dog cross some ice. <laughs> Jimmy says, yeah. No, I got it. 